Hello guys, Rob that one here and welcome to Doors and Deck Profiles, a segment on my channel where we talk about decks that are coming out in the future, currently in the game, and basically show off a deck profile and give you guys some games. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at a deck that I really like and I thought I would do again on the channel purely for the fact that, well, it's coming out in a couple of days in Genesis Impact and that is the Draytrons. Now, the Draytrons are honestly a really, really fun deck. They're a deck that basically revolve around tributing ritual monsters or Draytron monsters in the hand or on the field to basically special summon other Draytron monsters. And all the Draytron monsters, they all revolve around ritual based cards, ritual based effects, special summoning other Draytrons, and everything along those lines. And they're also the most unique ritual based deck in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh as well which is just really cool to me because in Yu-Gi-Oh the only the only good ritual deck in the whole game of Yu-Gi-Oh that has really just popped off been definite the best ritual deck is Necros and Thanks to the Draytron, I feel like it can boost a lot of other ritual based decks that really weren't able to be boosted in the past. So, guys, we're going to be looking at Draytron today. This is honestly a really fun deck in my opinion and I can't help but talk about it. And obviously it's coming out in a few days, guys, so take a look at this list, take your opinions and see what you think of it as well because you might really enjoy the deck because you're going to be able to pick it up in a few days. So, might as well talk about it now. So. Starting off, let's go into the deck profile so you can see what I play. So, starting off, we play 3 Draytron uh, Delta, 3 Draytron Gamma, 2 Draytron Zeta, and 3 Draytron Alpha. Now, these are all Draytron monsters that have specific effects revolving around ritual monsters or summoning other Draytron's monsters, such as Delta. Delta is the one that will go ahead and reveal a ritual card, ritual monster, or ritual spell to go ahead and draw one card from the deck. Gamma allows you to special summon one Draytron monster from the graveyard when it's special summoned. Zeta allows you to add a ritual spell from your deck, and Alpha allows you to add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. This these are the cards that will, your deck will be focusing around, and you will need to be playing all of these Draytrons specifically to be able to play the game. Now, there is another Draytron that I chose not to play in the deck because I don't really like it, and that one basically says you get to return one Draytron from your Banished Zone to your Graveyard, but I don't like it in the deck because it doesn't really give the deck anything, and you're not really banishing your, car your Draytrons very often anyway, so there's not really put any point behind it. Now, just so you all know, Draytrons do have a clause that say they cannot be normal summoned or set, and and they can only be summoned by their effects or an effect by tributing a Draytron monster or by being special summoned by a card effect. So if you were to want to special summon a Draytron monster or summon a Draytron monster, you will need another Draytron or a ritual monster to tribute to summon them from the hand or the graveyard because they can be summoned from the hand or the graveyard via their own effects. They also do have another clause that says you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except monsters that can not be normal summon slash set. So if you were to want to say to special summon uh, special summon out like a Vanity's ruler even though that's impossible or if better yet an ash blossom you are unable to special summon ash blossom but you are able to special summon any ritual monster in the game or any extra deck monster as well so just a good fact there guys that so you know that draytrons really do lock you out of a lot of things but they're really good for extra decks and ritual decks so it's really nice uh, other monsters we're playing is one vanity's ruler vanity's ruler is a really strong card in this deck for the pure fact that it's searchable thanks to Ben 10, because whenever Ben 10 is tributed, you get to go ahead and add a Light Fairy from your deck to your hand, which Vanity's Ruler is, and seeing as you're not normal summoning a lot in this deck, you don't really care that um, you have all these other monsters because you're always going to be special summoning. So having Vanity's Ruler isn't really that big an issue. So Vanity's Ruler is a really strong card in this deck because you can literally just tribute Draytons and on your opponent's turn prevent them from being able to special summon. We're also playing free Ash Blossoms just because it's one of the most strongest hand traps in the game right now. Uh, along with the free Imperm down in the corner down here as well. Just so we're playing about six hand traps. Wish I could fit more into the deck but with the amount of ritual monsters we're playing playing it's kind of hard to fit a ton of hand traps going on to ritual monsters though we're playing one uh drake overlord because this card is absolutely insane for its fact for the pure fact that when it's ritual summoned it skips your opponent's next main phase one so literally you can summon this turn one with a vanity's ruler locking your opponent out of special summoning and forcing them to skip their main phase one which is 
absolutely insane because literally just stopping your opponent from having a main phase one is really, really strong. Also, while this card is face up, it negates the face up effects of Xyz Fusion Synchro monsters that are on the field. So it's pretty much just another version of Necros of Unicorn for anything that is a Synchro Fusion or Xyz monster. Now, it doesn't work on Link monsters, uh, sadly, but that's because this card was released before Link monsters existed, so it does make sense. We're playing one Necros of Un Unicorn to go with a one Kaleidoscope, just because of I kind of like the engine, it is searchable in the deck very easily, and if I can't really get to the Drake Overlord, then I have the option to go into these two instead. For the Drytron Ritual Monsters, though, we're only playing one and one. Um, one of the one that will destroy face-up cards on your opponent's turn, and one that will go ahead and just half his Feather Dust to the entire board. You only need one of each of these, seeing as the Ritual Spell in the Draytron deck does summon from the hand and the graveyard, so you really only need one of each of these Ritual Monsters. We are also playing two Surveyors, because Surveyors is actually a really cool card. Because one, it prevents targeting. So if your opponent were to impermanence your Vanity's Ruler, you can just go ahead and drop the Surveyors and say, nope, you can't negate me, I am going to stop you from special summoning. And also, if you do choose to Ritual Summon this card instead, this card does have the effect that says, when your opponent would inherently summon a card, quick effect, you can return this card to your hand and negate the special summon and banish those monsters. So you're not destroying them, you're actually banishing the monster that would be special summoned, which is actually actually a really cool card for a card like Surveyus because it just says oh I'm going to stop you from targeting and if I choose to summon it then I'm just going to have a solemn warning or a solemn judgment or whatever you want to call it or even a solemn strike which is really really nice. Uh, going on, we keep playing a free Cyber Angel Ben 10 and one Natasha. Now, the reason we're playing free Cyber Angel Ben 10 is one, because it searches Vanity's Ruler. We want a way to search Vanity's Ruler as consistently as possible. But the second reason we're playing free Ben 10, because I could just play one Ben 10 if I really wanted to search Vanity's Ruler, right? Is because Natasha is busted. Natasha in this deck is absolutely insane because you can actually get it out very, very easily. And what this card basically does, let's go ahead and read it, is once per turn you can target one face-up monster you control. Gain life points equal to half that monster's attack. So it's got life gain in it. Um, when a ritual monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can negate that attack. It has attack negation. And its final effect, which makes it absolutely broken in my opinion, is if this card is in the graveyard, you can banish one other cyber angel monster from your graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls, special summon this card, and if you do, take control of that monster. So pretty much what this is, is it's not a hard once per turn effect for beginners, so absolutely broken there, but what you can do in the Draytron is, you can go ahead and have all three of your Ben 10 in the graveyard, because of normally in this deck, you're going to go ahead, Tribute Ben 10, Search Ben 10, Tribute Ben 10, Search Ben 10, Tribute Ben 10, Search Natasha, or Search Vanity's Ruler. And then if you've got the Natasha, and you send it to the graveyard, and your opponent has like four mon three monsters on board, then you can literally just go, banish the first Ben 10, summon the Natasha. Take control of opponent's monster. Send ben uh, Natasha to the graveyard with any of the Draytron monsters. Then use Natasha again, target opponent's monster, banish Ben 10. Special Natasha, take again. And then just repeat that until you have no Ben 10s left in your graveyard. And then just be like, yeah, I'm just snatch stilled your whole board. Which is actually really, really cool because there's no other card deck in the game that can do this. And I really think this is a really cool effect to have just in terms of Cyber Angels and in this deck in general because it's so easy to pull off just because you've got four Draytron monsters so you can literally go on and this is what normally happen on a following term or something along those lines that can literally just go yeah, I've got four Draytrons in the graveyard, so I'm going to banish the first one, summon Natasha, tribute Nat Natasha, banish the second Ben 10, and then with uh, like ga with uh, Natasha, and then summon a Natasha, then the Gamma can tribute the Natasha, and then you just go ahead and take your opponent's board, make a board of ritual monsters, and then just go in from there, which I think is really cool, and is one of the reasons why I really do like the Draytron deck. But, continuing on, we are also playing three Cyber Emergencies. I was originally playing Where Art Thou in Draytron when I first built the deck, but... I chose to kind of change to Cyber Emergency for the fact that, one, where off thou, it requires you to already have a Draytron on board, which can be kind of bad and what might not happen all the time. And two, Cyber Emergency just searches Ritual Monsters as well. So you can go ahead and search your uh, your Draytron Ritual Meteoros Dragon or your Draytron uh, Quad Dragon. So it's just like, it's it's got additional resources that you can actually search and it's more compatible that way. 
We also are all playing Drace, free of the Draytron Field Spell, which is kind of useful. It basically allows you to kind of decrease opponents' levels and stuff as well. But the main reason you play free of it is because it does search Draytron spells and traps, which is the main card source of this card's deck's uh, searchability. Because it will be searching your Ritual spell at times, and it will also be searching Ritual uh, your Draytron Nova, which is just really nice overall. Uh, we are playing free Draytron Nova, as I said, though, and this is pretty much just a quick launch from the deck. You can special summon one Draytron from the deck and special and destroy it during the end phase. That's all Nova does, but it allows you to get to your Draytrons, like your Draytron Alpha, very easily to allow you to play the game from there. We also play two Draytron Meteorosis. Now, I like to play two. I like to play two of this card, and the reason behind that is because this card can actually return itself to the hand every turn, just by decreasing a machine or a Draytron monster uh, by 1,000 attack points, and it adds it to the hand. So, if you've got like a Draytron Meteorosis, or a Draytron Qua, Meteorosis Qua, then... Just go ahead and target it, put it down to 3k and add it to your hand. Or if you've got like one of the Draytrons still on board, you can go ahead and decrease that Draytron's attack, add the Ritual Spell to hand, and then just tribute it off and get a 2k back. So it's just infinite recursion with the Ritual Spell, so I only think you need one, you only need two. And then the final Ritual Spell we're playing is one Necros of Kaleidoscope, as I said, just because we're playing Necros of Unicor, and we can go ahead and send Herald from our extra deck to the graveyard to get a free resource there. That's the only reason I play it. It's, it's not an amazing combo, but it can work and it can be really nice if you do get the chance to do it. Uh, and obviously, I already said the free impermanence. Now, going on to extra deck, we do play one uh, Relinquish Anima, just because if our opponent puts a card in the wrong zone, then we can go ahead and summon a Drytron and steal it. Uh, one Link Rebo, because of sometimes we can have Drytrons left. One uh, Cross Sheet, because discard, draw two, discard two in this deck is possible. Um, one IP Mask Arena, because you can do this during your opponent's turn to go ahead and make a Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, one Hippo Shogun, because Hippo Shogun is just... It just says boost my already big monsters to 4-5, and I really like that. Uh, one Nightmare Cerberus, because just destroy opponent's monster. One Cleefort Genius, because this card, because like all of our monsters are machines, pretty much. And this says negate face-up cards, so no bad, no foul there. Nightmare Unicorn, because it says pop back row. One Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon, purely for the fact that it says destroy one card, like tribute a monster, and then destroy opponent's card. That, that's the only reason I play it. Like, I, I have no other reason to play this card. It literally is just there because it says destroy one card on the field. That, that's it. One Nightmare Unicorn because of the IP play and gets rid of anything. One Appaloosa because of, funny enough, you can make this turn one very easily. You don't need to, but you can. One Access Code Talker because tons of different attributes in the extra deck and popping is nice. And you can also make it very easily. One Boral Sword for just potential OTKs. One uh, Sil Sylvan Princess because it's something you can make that's a rank one. And in my opinion, it is the best rank one. And then one Herald of Arc Light just for the cheeky play with uh, Kaleidoscope and Necros of Unicorn. Now, this is the deck profile that I have personally made. I've been really liking playing this deck, and I've been really enjoying it. It's a really, really fun deck profile, and I'm really, really enjoying playing the deck, having fun with it, testing it, and everything along those lines. So, guys, let's actually get into some duels now, though, so you guys can see what the deck is capable of in actual gameplay, and we'll hopefully have some fun with it there. So, the first game of the video, let's see what we're up against. We won the Rock, Paper, Scissors. We're going first. And we've opened Interesting. We've opened Cyber Emergency, Fafnir, Alpha, Drake Overlord, and also Draytron Meteorosis. So this is an interesting hand. We're going to start off with the Fafnir, though. Just because Fafnir will allow me to go ahead and add Nova. Or actually, I could add the Ritual Spell. Adding the Ritual Spell is a lot smarter here. Just because it allows me to get further in. Plus, we've already got a way to search, which is good. So we're going to go ahead and use Cyber Emergency. And Cyber Emergency is going to grab me... Ooh, I could go ahead and grab a Delta to get a draw. I've already got the Ritual Spell, so I don't need to get a Zelta. I think I'm going to get the Delta, because the potential of getting like a Ben 10 or something is actually insane. And actually, no, we can get a Ben 10 right away, which is good. So we're going to go ahead and use the Beta. Uh, sorry, the Alpha. Mm, actually, no, we'll, get, we'll use the... No, yeah, we'll use the Alpha. Because Alpha can go ahead and Tribute the delta and then alpha can go ahead and grab me a ben 10 and then i can just get free resources from the ben 10 which is really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and then use the delta delta will tribute the ben 10 summoning it out 
and we'll go ahead and reveal um Draytron and Dray uh, Meteorosis Draytron, and we drew, we drew Vanity's ruler. So now I've got decisions to make. I can do I can either go ahead and normal tribute summon into the Vanity's ruler. I can either skip my opponent's next main phase, which might be a good idea because it also negates the opponent's extra deck monsters, or I can go ahead and just make some random extra deck monster, I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do that though. I'm probably going to go ahead and use the Meteorosis and summon out the Draco Overlord just because it skips our opponent's main phase. And then next turn I get even more potential plays, which is nice. So I feel like that's the better play to do. Plus it stops us from being OTK'd, which is also really good. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and send these two to the graveyard. Actually, in hindsight, I should have sent <laughs> Draytron Meteorosis to the graveyard because of, I can do that. I, I, I done goofed. I could have uh, gone ahead and made a Morphage Pain, uh, the Drake Overlord, uh, the Drake Overlord, and also Vanity's Ruler. See, this is also testing for me, guys. So we're going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. <laughs> but nonetheless, we've negated Xyz, Xyz Fusions and Synchro Monsters. So that's not the end of the world. Plus, I can just go ahead and use the Draytron's in Graveyard to tribute like Ben 10 and stuff, and also return the Draytron Meteorosis to hand, so it's not the end of the world. Our opponent just set five. Okay, <laughs> our opponent just set five cards and passed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with Alpha, and we're going to tribute Ben 10. Now, is our opponent going to have a response to this? I hope not. Like, I'll go ahead and get the effect of Ben 10 regardless, but, you know... Why would you return that to my hand? That's a terrible idea. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use Alpha's effect, which will go ahead and grab us now. Well, we'll go ahead and get the Surveyors because of he's playing cards that target, so I would rather stop that. And now we're going to use the Ben 10. Reveals a multi-faker. Go on, do it. I'm calling it now. You reveal that a multi-faker. <laughs> oh no, he's going to go ahead and use the Solemn Strike to stop the Ben 10. I mean, I would have preferred to stop the Alpha, but sure. Uh, that's fine by me. It does mean I have to change my plan a bit. So, hmm, I guess we do use this now to go ahead and add this back to hand. Because the Meteoros is just adding it back to hand is really good. And then I can go ahead and summon the Drake Overlord again. Yeah, this is why I did it this way, because then I can go ahead and just send the Surveyors to the graveyard to negate another target effect. And if he does want to use a third Compulse, he's free to use a third Compulse or a Solemn Strike or something to stop me. Like, it is fine by me. So, now we're going to go ahead and use the Delta. And with the Delta, we're actually going to send the Amorphage Drake Overlord to the graveyard. Which is going to then summon the Delta. Hmm... And then with the Delta, I'll go ahead and reveal the Drake, the Meteorosis. And then I'll get a free draw as well, which could get me a Gamma, which would allow me to go a little further. So we'll go ahead and reveal the Meteorosis. And we drew another Meteorosis, so there's some extra plays we can actually do now. So we're going to actually start off by activating Meteorosis. And Meteorosis is going to go ahead and summon out the Drake Overlord. By sending the one I should have sent to Graveyard last turn. And summoning it out. There's no point in using Fafnir here. So it's fine. Um, he's going to use Warning Point. I mean, I'm pretty sure that doesn't do anything. because of uh, It negates the effects, sure. But his next main phase is still skipped. Because it was still correctly summoned. But nonetheless, I don't think that matters, does it? So, what I can... Like, I've got two choices. I can go ahead and use this uh, Meteorosis to go ahead and summon out the Surveyor to be able to negate a summon that he could do next turn. Or I could summon the Vanity's Ruler. Now, because he's playing a Ritual-based deck, I think I'm going to use the Meteorosis. And we're going to go ahead and summon out our lovely, lovely Surveyor. Like, I can return it to the hand as well if he does attempt a special summon, so that is an option as well, which is nice for me. And now we're just going to go Battle Phase, and we're going to do some damage. Oh, we can't attack with this? Oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> That's upsetting. Oh, oh, okay, so he's playing Elder Lich. I should have summoned the Vanity's Ruler. I should have 100% summoned the Vanity's Ruler. That... I, I... Well, it's it's too late now. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain about it. It's too late now. What's done is done. 
So we're going to have to see what our opponent does now. Because honestly, when he's done that, like he still skips his main phase, which is good. Because of this was still correctly summoned. Like I still don't get why he can pulse this. That was just incorrect in all forms of imagination. Like I really don't get why he did that. But it's fine. It's fine. Like I, it's only till the end phase though, right? Uh, when there was uh, this turn, yeah. So he goes main phase two, sets one, and passes turn. Cool. So we oh we drew cyber emergency. That's really good. That's actually really nice for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with cyber emergency. Because I'm not gonna attribute any of the ritual monsters on the board right now. There is no point in doing that. He's going to go ahead and use Conquestador, popping one of my cards. I, I would assume he would probably pop the Amorphage, but he might pop the Soraveus instead. It really comes down to his preference. Honestly, though, I'm not sure what he would prefer to pop, because, like, popping this just means it's gone off the board, which is fine. Uh, but, it, like, I don't really care. Oh, my camera stopped. Why is my camera stopped? There we go, camera fixed. I don't know why my camera stopped. That's weird. So, uh, that's something that's going to be done in post-editing. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and add... So, he kills the Drake Overlord. We're going to go ahead and add Gamma. Gamma is just insane. Plus, we've already got both Meteorosis out of the deck. Now, we're going to go ahead and use our Alpha. Alpha's going to tribute the Gamma. And we're going to summon out Alpha. And then, Alpha's going to go ahead and add a Ritual Monster from our deck to our hand. Now, what I can do here, I can either go ahead and add this... To uh, expect to Harpy's Fur Duster all back row. Or, I can go ahead and add Ben 10. Tribute Ben 10. Summon, uh, search N Natasha. And then use Natasha. To, and then summon Natasha. And then we can start going into an extra deck loop thing. Where we can steal the Elder Lich, the Golden Lord, and the Conquestador. And I think I might go for that. Because that's actually the player that I, I'm most interested in showing. So we're going to do this. So, you're going to go ahead now and use the Meteorosis and Grave. Uh, targeting the alpha and returning it to hand. We're then going to go ahead and use our El Gamma, tributing the Ben 10, summoning out the Gamma, and then we're going to use the Gamma to go ahead and summon the Delta. We're then going to use Ben 10's effect that will search us into Tasha from the deck to the hand, and then we're going to use Meteorosis. Which will allow me to then send the Alpha to the graveyard and summon out Natasha. He can't be negated because our field spell prevents that. <laughs> yeah, that's a misplay, dude. People, ma he made a misplay. It's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to target the Cerevis and we're going to go ahead and link summon into a cross sheep. So we'll summon the cross sheep. We're then going to go ahead and use Natasha's effect, banishing Ben 10 and targeting the Golden Lord, which will take control of the Golden Lord, summon it and put it in this zone. And then we'll use Natasha's effect again, targeting our Cerevaeus to gain more life points. And then we're going to use Delta's effect, tributing the Natasha, summoning the Delta. We're then going to go ahead and link summon again into. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna no, no, no. We'll make a nightmare unicorn using these two, and then we can trigger the nightmare unicorn, discarding our vanity's ruler to send this back into the deck. We're then gonna go ahead and summon out our access code talker using our nightmare unicorn and our gamma. Summoning Access Kotorka. And yeah. So even the, the the reason he lost there was the pure fact that he solemn judgmented and didn't realize Fafnir has the same bit effect as in, uh, Invocation. Where, no, not Invocation, sorry, Magical Meltdown. To stop the negation of ritual spells. So that's why he mainly lost that. But even if he didn't solemn judgment there... I would have still been able to go into the whole Natasha thing, where we go ahead and Natasha steal the opponent's monster and then just go up the link ladder. But nonetheless, that was a really fun game. Also, my camera cut out, so let's actually go to game two, and I'll have to edit stuff in the video. But nonetheless, let's go to game two. Game two, let's see what we're playing against. We lost the rock, paper, scissors. 
So even though we opened a busted hand, we got Alpha, we got Fafnir, we got Ben 10, and we got two Surveyors. So this hand is absolutely insane. Our opponent just ended turn. Okay, I see how it be. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start off with our Fafnir then. Seeing as he's opened a hand that's probably not playable. And we're going to go ahead and start off by add adding Nova to our hand. We're going to go ahead and use Nova. If he ashes this, it's kind of hard, but it's fine. We're going to summon out the Z Zeta. And the reason we're summoning Zeta is because it's going to add us a ritual spell. So now that we've done that, if we are allowed to go further, we're going to go ahead and use Drytron Alpha, which will send Zeta the to the graveyard. And we have to specifically send Zeta here because Zeta is the one that's going to allow us to tribute the Ben 10 in our hand. He activates a Gamma. That is not the best for me, but it's fine. I can still play around it. You know why? Because now we're just going to go ahead and use the Zeta, which would tribute the Ben 10. And we'll go ahead and summon out the Zeta. And the Zeta is going to allow me to add to my hand a Draytron Metrosis. Now, here's a little bit of an issue. I have a few options that I can go into. I could go ahead and use the Draytron Meteorosis and summon out another Ritual Monster by using the Draytron um, Dragon. Or I can go ahead and do something else. And he's going ahead and Effect Veiling. I'm not using a Surveyor's on an Effect Veiler. It's not something that makes sense to me. And you know what I could just do as well? I could go ahead and add Vanity's Ruler here. Summon out Surveyor's and then just tribute summon straight into Vanity's Ruler. So that's actually a shout and I think I'm going to do that. Because he doesn't seem to have a lot of plays, so we can actually just stop him full stop with this. And if that's the case, we're actually going to summon out the Ben 10. Because then I can tribute the Ben 10, and then I'll gain more stuff from just tributing it, so it's fine. So summon out the Vanity's Ruler, and then we trigger the Ben 10. Which will go ahead and search another Ben 10 getting out of the deck. And seeing as I don't want to kill either of these and put them in the graveyard, we're actually, you know what? If he's playing pure Psy frames, we're going to attack the Gamma. Because if he has Psychic Field Zone, he can just go ahead and summon. Well, if he can negate, obviously, the Vanity's Ruler. But yeah, so we've pretty much locked him out of Special Summoning from the extra deck. Next turn, I get to go ahead and Special Summon as many Drytrons as I want. Search Meteorosis. Just do as many things as I want, which is really nice. Also, I did make a slight misplay not using the Meteorosis in Grave, but it's fine. So he sets two and passes, and we drew a Nova. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off with our Nova. And Nova's going to go ahead and Special Summon out a Gamma. Like so. We're going to go ahead and then use our Zeta effect, which is going to go ahead and Tribute the Ben 10. Summoning out Zeta, and then Zeta will go ahead and add us a Meteorotus. Then going to trigger Ben 10's effect. Ben 10 will allow us to add another Ben 10. As we do, as we do. And then we're going to go ahead and use our Alpha's effect. Which is going to go ahead and send the last Ben 10 to the graveyard. Special summoning him out. And then we're going to go ahead and add one uh, Natasha. Well, we're not going to add Natasha through this. We're going to go ahead and add instead a do, 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 do. we're going to go ahead and add our meteorosis and then Nat ben 10 will go ahead and add natasha we are then going to go ahead and use draytron meteorosis we'll target the gamma and we'll go ahead and use our meteorosis and we'll summon out our natasha targeting attributing our gamma Summon out Natasha. We're then going to use Natasha's effect, targeting our Vanity's Ruler. Gaining some life points. And we're then going to go ahead and use... Do, 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 do. I can go ahead and do a few things here. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and summon out our cross sheep. Using these two. And then we're going to go ahead and use Natasha. Banishing a Ben 10, taking our opponent's set monster. So we'll summon Natasha here, and then we'll summon his monster here. And he's playing Sher Dolls. Okay, and then we're going to use the cross sheet, which will allow us to draw two, discard one, and then he surrenders. Pretty much, he didn't draw anything good going first, clearly. He opened a handful of hand traps, which did not help him in any stretch of the imagination. He set one, but what we were basically going to do is, guys, I was just going to OTK him. 
Because as soon as I stole his Squamata, he kind of ended up in a position where he was going to lose. Because all I was going to do was I was going to use this to draw two, discard or two, obviously. Then we were going to go ahead and use the Gamma to revive two, use the Draytron Meteosis to summon out the Qua, to, so then we can go ahead and destroy all back row he has. And then I was just going to go ahead and make Access Code Talker or Boral, load, Boral Sword to then go for game there. But pretty much that's a, this was one of the good hands we had. This was a good game too. Let's actually go on to the final game we'll be playing in this game. To, in this deck because this deck is actually a lot of fun and i want to showcase as many games as i can last game of the video let's see what we're playing against we lost the rock paper scissors but we opened a pretty good hand okay so let's see what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and start off with necros of unicorn and we're gonna go ahead and say the herald of arc lights the graveyard and some of the necros of unicorn now we opened two one ofs in the opening hand so this is already kind of busted but <laughs> let's ignore that for a second so we're gonna go ahead and add ben 10 from our deck to our hand with the effect actually you know what i shouldn't do that no i shouldn't do that because we're going to go ahead and add the ben 10 we're then going to go ahead and use draytron nova draytron nova is going to go ahead and add from our deck to our hand to a special summon a alpha we're then going to go ahead and use the alpha, the gamma's effect, tributing the benten, summoning out the benten, summoning out the uh, gamma. Sorry, and then we're going to use the gamma's effect, the benten's effect, to go ahead and add the vanity's ruler from our deck to our hand. Pretty much, we're just going to end on this. We're then going to go ahead and summon out our vanity's rule. Actually, you know what? I made a slight misplay because what I could have done was I could have link summoned, summoned out like a hippo shogun. Uh, then gone ahead and summoned the drives from Alpha back, tributed them, got a ritual monster. Yeah, I could have gone a bit different, but it's fine, I think. Mm, is there anything else I want to do instead? Nah, we're just going to go ahead and tribute into the Vanity's Ruler. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and pass. So, this is not the bad board. Uh, Unicorn and Vanity's Ruler is never a bad board. Because we prevent our opponent from special summoning and we negate all extra deck monster effects. So if he does have an infinite impermanence for the Vanity's Ruler, he's still got to deal with the Nightmare Unicorn. Now the only issue that I do have with this opening board is that if I do somehow hit a point where I can't go any further. Such as if I don't draw a Ritual Monster or I can't really do anything else. Then I'm not going to be in the best position. And also this guy said uh, nice Draytron but we obviously stopped him. So we're up against a kaiju deck. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna say it. Can't <laughs> kaiju me. <laughs> you can't kaiju wife as vanity's ruler. Not happening. Like legit, this is the, this card is busted for so many reasons, and it only works in ritual decks. Like legit, it only works in decks that can utilize Ben Ten. That's the sad thing about it. <laughs> Uh, yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> like, legit. Like, I've pretty much just locked this guy down with a standard board of Vanity's Ruler plus uh, Necros of Unicorn. So it's not like... He, he doesn't really have a lot of the routes he can actually go. Where Which means he's kind of in a bad situation. But we draw. We draw Fafnir. Now, Fafnir just makes this even more broken. So we're going to go ahead and use Fafnir. Fafnir is going to go ahead and add a Nova from our deck to our hand. And then we're going to go ahead and use the Nova, and Nova's going to go ahead and summon out our Zeta. And we're then going to go ahead and use Alpha in the graveyard, tributing Zeta. Summoning out get Alpha. Alpha's going to trigger, and he's going to go ahead and add... Doesn't really matter, because I'm just going to kill him anyway, so we're just going to add a Draco Meteor uh, Meteorosis. And then we're going to go ahead and use our Zeta... Tributing Alpha. Summoning out Zeta, and Zeta's going to go ahead and grab us a Draytron Meteorosis. And then we're going to go ahead and use Gamma. We're going to use Gamma and tribute out our lovely big guy right here. Summoning out Gamma. We'll then special summon out a Alpha as well. And then we go ahead and use the Ritual spell, which will go ahead and just summon out the big boy right here. Yeah, so... Pretty much busted. Yeah, we just attacked the game. GG, sorry for the lockout. 
GG, sorry for the lockout. Like, legit, this, this deck is dumb. Like, the things this deck can do is really dumb on paper. But I don't think, to be honest with you guys, I don't think this will be a tier 0 deck or a tier 1 deck. Maybe, maybe well, it might hit tier 1. Uh, it might hit tier 1, but we don't really know. It, it really depends, and that's kind of what, like, the sad thing here. But... Guys, that's the video though. Tell me what you think of this deck in the comment section below. I'm actually going to have another game with this guy outside of the video. I only really want to put three videos, duels in the video. Otherwise, the video is going to be too long. But guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my streams. I stream on Wednesdays and Mondays uh, every week. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We are on Twitch. Links in the description. Everything along those lines. Thanks so much for watching. Robot Bat 1 signing out. I'm going to give this guy a rematch.